paper plates. Paper plates. The, cheap, the cheapest you can get. Okay. All right, little paper plates, all right? Yeah. There's two, four, five, there's six quid there. Try and get me about six quid's worth. Six quid's worth of... Pay hey, little paper plates. So we're kind of just setting up again. Um, it's the second week of having all the Sainsbury's involved. Uh, we now have uh, Canley, uh, Town Centre, Trinity Street, and we also have Courthouse Green supplying food. And as you can see, we've actually got an abundance of food this time. The queues are still growing. There's still all different types of people coming, but we've now actually got enough food to manage um, and cope with the, with the amount of uh, demand that we've got. Um, we've got a great team of volunteers who continue to consistently turn up every week to provide this service. And we're just really looking forward to a, a glorified day where people just get benefit and, 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 and really get fed here today and, and they get their demands met peacefully, shall I say, peacefully, very peacefully. All right? But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, we couldn't do this without the volunteers that we have out here committed each week. And uh, so I suppose, thanks to them really, innit? You know what I mean? But we're getting, we're, getting, we're getting stuck in. We're keeping it busy, we're keeping it real. But stick with us, follow us around for the day and you, you might see some amazing happenings. You know, some people think about uh, homeless people or vulnerable people as you know, aggressive, angry, disrespectful. But well, where else could you go in this country and find an orderly queue like this? Where can you find desperate people actually respecting and appreciating the efforts that's been done for them? And more importantly, since we've actually been getting more food, we've actually found that there's been less reason for frustration or even people penting out their anger in the queues. So what you see here is some really appreciative people um, who are having their, their needs met. And this to me makes it all worthwhile. Um, some of them are refugees, yeah. um, asylum seekers, um, no benefits, yeah. no food, hungry children. What you've actually been seeing today is uh, what we do every week. We've been coming out here every week uh, for about four years now, um, doing this week in, week out. And some people wonder, well, wh where's the change? Where's the outcome? You know, wh wh what is your objective? What, what do you aim to get out of this? And I'd like to just take this opportunity, uh, just maybe just to share with you now, are, are two outcomes that I can give you at the moment. Um, you know, featured on the uh, Secret Millionaire show that we were on uh, back last year was a, a couple that were sleeping in a tent. Um, and some might remember the young girl called Stacy and her boyfriend. Um, I'm pleased to announce at this moment in time, uh, since December anyway, um, that the, par the partner, the boyfriend, is now drug free, free of alcohol. We've put him through detox. He's now a member of our church and an active member of our community. Productive, no longer in trouble, no longer getting arrested, no longer going to prison, no longer taking drugs, and no longer drinking alcohol. And that's a positive outcome because we were persistent and consistent in supporting this man from the beginning from where he was right up to where he is right now. But I'd also like to share with you that uh, when, when this ministry first started four years ago, it started with two guys from our church taking one man um, to a Kentucky. And that was the birth of Vanessa's ministry. Now, throughout the four years that we've actually served out on the streets of Coventry, this guy has come in and out of our service and in and out of our community and in and out of our life on several occasions, sometimes spending three, four months at a time and then disappearing for a while. Well, the last time we saw him, uh, which was halfway through last year, I believed it was going to be the last time I'd ever see this man alive. By that time, he'd had another stroke, which was not alcohol related. He'd lost all controls of his bowel systems um, and was going in and out of hospital and basically had no purpose or, or, or reason to live and didn't seem to want to. Um, however, we continued to support him and encourage him through that. I'm glad to say I bumped into him just two days ago. Find out that, he, that he's now actually put on over five stone in weight. He's no longer drinking alcohol. He's no longer taking any drugs. He's in residential care. He's being supported. And all he can say is, thank you guys for just being there for me when I needed you. Now, that's outcome. That's impact in your community. And I've always said this and I'll always say it again. If you impact the individual, you'll impact your community. If you change the individual, you'll change your community. And that's what we're all about on the streets here in Coventry. Well, the bottom line is if you don't change the way that you're living, yeah. then you're going to end up dead. You're either going to end up dead or you're going to end up hopeless. Yeah. Right? Hope, ho ho homeless is not as, as low as you can go, is it? No. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Homeless is not as low as you can go. Some people think that that's yeah, as low as you can go. But it ain't. You could you could be hopeless. You could you could you could end up being hopeless. That's no hope for your situation, no hope for your circumstance, and no light at the end of any tunnel. Right? That's worse than being homeless. You know what I mean? And you just find yourself spiraling around in that for some time. Right? Something has to click. Something has to click that makes you want to change. And when that happens, it's an amazing journey that you start to embrace. Wow, you see? So the size tens up your rear ends worked. Yeah. 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 I'm glad to hear it, man. What does this uh, coming to, to this soup kitchen mean to you? Well, if it weren't for coming for here, I'd be starving all day. Where I live, they kick me out at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm not allowed back until 10 o'clock at night. So, like, if it weren't for this, then I'd, I'd struggle for food. I'm on the dole like everyone else, but this helps a lot of people. Look at how many people are here, man. There's a lot of people that need food, and we get food to take home as well. So it does help, and Kervin, he's, he helps. He's good at organising it. It's very well organised. What we mean is thank you. Yeah, in other words, thank you. Yeah, it's my first time down here, you know, but um, he's doing a good job. Very good job. Helping a lot of people out, you know. God knows how many people you're serving, but yeah, you're doing yeah, a good busy, job. Yeah. And they get loads of free food to take home as well, which yeah. can last them for another couple of days. So it's important, very important, I think. I mean, look around, you look how many people are here. There's about 150 people here. And it's a great thing, it's a great thing we're doing. So fair play to Sainsbury's as well, because they donate the food. Yeah. Well, just donate oh, thank you, well. Sainsbury's. And thank you a lot for working. Yeah, for doing your work. Because yeah. on a Sunday, I wouldn't want to be doing this. Oh, it's 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 they do it, they, they do so. voluntary work as well. Yeah, yeah. you're good people. You can't knock it, can you, man? No, can How can you this? knock it, man? Look at my bag. I've got fruit, bread, no, I've got, I've got the soups, crisps, Loads of stuff, and you can get more. Coming out, yeah, I'm thankful. That'll last me a week. Yeah, that'll keep me alive for a week. I'm down here every <laughs> Sunday. Every Sunday. It's my first Sunday, but I'll be down here next week. Yeah, we can't grumble. Happy days. Happy days, we here again. Yeah, I'll be here next week, don't worry. Okay, well, apart from all this normal stuff we've seen us do today, where we've been giving out clothes, we've been giving out food, soup, coffee, and all the rest of it, we've also had to be dealing with individuals' issues. Um, like now, this is a time where people go out and start relationship in, talking with individuals and finding out what their other needs are. And so far today, we've had to deal with somebody who's got a gas leak, um, who speaks no English, and needed us to make a phone call in order to have the gas shut off for them. We've, uh, we've had to help somebody out who's in need of a fridge freezer. So we've got that sorted out, we've exchanged details, and that will be delivered to them sometime this week. We've also spoken with somebody who's just moved into a flat and they've got no furniture whatsoever. And we're going to get them some sofa and some, some other materials that are going to benefit them in the short term while they wait for, for other things. So in, in effect, we actually do a hell of a lot more than just feed them. You know what I mean? We try to meet them at their need, whatever that need might be. And for some people, it might just actually be, as we've always realised, just somebody to talk to. Somebody to explain what, they, what, what they're going through. Somebody to have an understanding of, of where they're at and somebody to signpost them to where they might go to get what they need. So, you know, I, I really love doing this. I look for, this, is, this is the one day on the calendar every week that I look forward to. And uh, I, I just get so much out of it. And I believe that, you know, we put so much into it. Yeah, dumpers, right, the former tech dumpers. Yeah. At um, CPCS, mm -hmm. and that's a really a license to work on machines. Yeah. That ran out in November last year. Okay. So to reset it, I have to be employed with an employer who's prepared to um, okay. Finance so, NVQ. Well, give me a hurried letter okay. saying that if you if you pay for this NVQ, we'll give this man a job. Right, got you. Driving dumpers. Right. So that's where I'm at at the minute. So per time to have companies that are registered with them that will do that, well, and they'll be able to... Well, I do health and social at sixth form and I needed to get a placement and I just, I talked to Kirby in Sainsbury's and he said I could come and do this so I've just been doing this, so that's it.
I've been Mason part of the church, I've been part of the local church for a few months. I got involved through Curving because he told me about it. I think it's a really good charity, you know, because it helps broken and homeless people. They come and they can get stuff to eat and drink and stuff, so I think it's just a really good way to show that we care. So that's your main reason, it's because you feel like you're giving something back to your community? Yeah. yeah. It's not a lot, but you know, a few hours down here we give people things and they go away a lot happier than what they came. It makes you more appreciative of things like what we've so, got. So yeah. I think it's a really good charity. It makes us appreciate what we've got a lot more. Yeah. All right, talk to me then. <laughs> talk to me then. Yeah, I do enjoy coming oh, yeah. here. Right. Definitely. It's on a Sunday, I have lots of things to do in my house, but I don't do it because I like to come here, help other people, and I enjoy it. So you're getting something out of I'm this as well? Definitely, without a doubt. If um, my kids say, Mum, I want to go swimming, can you take me? I say, No, I'm sorry, Sundays is out. I right. come here. Seriously, that's what I do. Sundays is out, I do here. Right. No matter what goes on, this day is for the people here. Fantastic. And that's what I say to my children. They go, oh, but mum, but mum. I go, no, not mum, no mum. You've got every day, these people have got one day, and we've got one day to help them, and that's what I do. Amazing, and I enjoy that. that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it brings a lot of joy to you as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. I really enjoy it. I mean, a lot of met all other people here, nice girls, and people in the queue. I mean, there's people in the queue I know from when I was a kid, and I feel so sorry and so bad when I see them people they ain't got nothing. Do you know what I mean? And to how, how they've turned out. And I mean, they were people who had things in their life. And all of a sudden, it's all gone. <laughs> I've always said that there were people who were people before they were homeless. Oh, without a doubt. This is why I, see now, I never judge anybody now. Not in my lifetime. Before I would off. Not now, I don't judge I mean, we, we, we actually did this uh, a couple of years ago uh, on our Barclays presentation, Four Steps from Homelessness. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's amazing. So I'll tell you what, though, it's amazing what you do, I should say. Without a doubt, without you, it wouldn't be, it would be nothing. So I, I think you're fantastic as well. I think you give your time up as well? I think we're all fantastic. Yeah. And I couldn't manage this without the people in the team no, that are with me. No, no, I so, you know. Yeah, but without you, it wouldn't be here. So that's yeah. the... The biggest bonus. I throw it out there, you throw it back. I throw yeah, it out there, you throw it back. I've only thrown it though, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Right, okay. Yeah. Is that you it? Love that. <laughs>